This is eternal life, that we experience God right here, right now. Jesus dragged your sin to the cross and washed it away in his blood. He put death to death. He brought shame to shame. He dealt with it once and for all, stamping your sin debt, paid in full. Not because it was a last resort or because humankind was more lost than the day before. He didn't go to the cross frustrated with humanity. He went to the cross to heal every frustrated, broken place in us. He did it all because you, my friend, are deeply loved, unexplainably, incomprehensibly loved. Love compelled Jesus to the cross and love held him there. Because you see, there is something stronger than your sin. There is something powerful enough to turn the midday sky black, yet shine into the darkness in each of us. Powerful enough to shake the earth and crack open the hearts of humanity, saturating all of creation with His goodness. Powerful enough to march into hell, to kick open the gates and tear them from their hinges, ripping all authority from Satan's grasp. Powerful enough to look the enemy straight in the eye, declaring the day of his hold has expired, and at the name of Jesus his forces must bow. Powerful enough to fling the stone door of the tomb wide open, releasing the very presence of God into your everyday walk around life. The love of God is stronger than the power of sin, than the power of hell, and the power of any grave. This same power released in the resurrection of Jesus, now exploding in you, is more powerful than anything that hell could ever do. The beautiful truth is, Jesus didn't come to make bad people good or good people better. He came to make dead people live. He didn't come to tame us or to contain us. He came to make us fully alive. He came to bring light into the darkness, hope to the hopeless, love to the abandoned. He came to anchor orphans and family, to reconcile husband to wife, mother to daughter, and son to father. Jesus didn't go to the cross cursing us. He went to the cross to break every curse. He came to break the power of torment and addiction. He came to heal the sick and the afflicted, to make blind eyes see and deaf ears hear, to say to the lame, stand up and walk. So we say to the blind eyes, see. We speak to the deaf ears, hear. We declare to the family destroyed by betrayal, restoration is today. We speak to the souls of the orphan, love has come for you. We say to the prisoners, your debt has been paid, now step into your freedom. We declare to the captives, the gates are open, step into your freedom. So we speak to the dry bones, come alive, come alive. We sing to the dead hearts, come alive, come alive. Now is the time. Rise up, people of God, come alive, come alive.